Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to analyze track time in Clockify. Whenever you or your team create a time entry, it will immediately show up in the dashboard and in the reports. The dashboard shows you a quick overview of all of your activities. You can see how much time you've tracked each day and where the time went based on project color. If you hover over some other day, you can see more details. Down here, you can see the total breakdown by project. And here, on the side, you can see your top 10 activities. To see all the activities ranked, click here and change to all. Here in the corner, you can see that we're looking at this week's data. You can switch to another week like this, or click here and choose some other date range. You can select one of the presets like this month, or choose a custom date range by clicking on the dates. This dashboard only shows you your hours. To see the hours of your team as well, switch to Team Dashboard. You'll see that the Team Dashboard has more hours, plus a new table below, which lists all your team members and shows you their activity. For example, you can see that this person is currently working on this and that this person was working on this a while ago. You can see the exact start time by hovering the mouse. Next, the latest activity is the total column, which shows total track time for the period and a visual breakdown of where the time went. For example, you can see what this person worked on this week based on project colors and when you hover and click you can see more details. Because a table lists all your users it can be quite useful when you want to see which users haven't submitted any time in a certain period by looking at the total column. So for example we can choose today and I see everyone who hasn't logged any time today. The table is sorted by latest activity, but you can also sort it alphabetically or by total time by clicking on the column name. The data is automatically refreshed every minute, but you can also refresh the page manually. If you use the activity table frequently, you can pin it so it's always at the top whenever you open the dashboard. <laughs> 